Now in this question then, we're asked to complete the values in this table which I've actually put in. All you've got to do is just substitute x equals 2 into the square root of all of 2x plus 1. So in other words, when x is 2, you've got 2 to the power 2 which is 4, plus 1 which is 5, the square root of 5 is 2.236 to 3 decimal places. And similarly, if you put x equals 2.5 into here, you're going to get 2.580 to 3dp. But for the next part, part b of this question, we've got to use the trapezium rule to find this area r, bounded by the curve, the lines x equals 0 and x equals 3. Now, what I've done is I've done a sketch of the curve and you'll notice I've added in just basically these points x equals 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, all the way up to 3. And how do we use the trapezium rule? Well, just very quickly, what happens is that we think of strips through here, okay? And if I just draw those strips in for you, something like that, that across the top we join these up with straight lines. Okay, so what we essentially get is a close approximation to the curve. We have our trapeziums like this. Okay, now by adding the areas of all these trapeziums together then we can get an estimate for the area under the graph and we need to use the trapezium rule formula. And the trapezium rule formula is this one here. To get the area, it's the width of a strip divided by 2, and the width of a strip you can see is half a unit. So let's start off first of all by putting this in, that the area is approximately the width of a strip, so we see that that's 0 0.5, or you could see it from the table here, just looking across. So you've got 0 0.5 divided by 2, then it says the first height, and by the first height we mean this height here, the height when x is 0, which is this value, 1.414. So 1.414. And then it is plus 2 times the sum of all the middle heights. So we put plus 2 times the sum of all the middle heights. So we just got to add together this height, this height, this height, this one, and this one. All these middle heights up through here. So if we just write those out, we've got 2 times 1.554 plus 1.732 plus 1.957 and 2.236 and finally 2.580. So that's twice the sum of all the middle heights. And then it's plus the last height. And the last height, this one up here, just happens to be 3 when x is 3. So just put that on the end there. And so that's essentially the trapezium rule. So I'd encourage you to write all of those stages out to aim to show the examiners that you can do the question. What you've got to do now is just type this into your calculator and what you should find that you get is that this comes out at 6.1 6.133 then exactly. Well that brings us to the end of this part anyway of the question.